Well, praise the Lord, everyone. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we are going to rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to the Christian and the culture. We want you to know that God has a plan for your life. Now, it's not going to be easy to discover just what that plan is all about, but you can find peace in prayer and in studying the Word of God, and eventually the plan of God will work out in your life. I'm Pastor Eric Lambert of the Bethel Deliverance International Church, and we'd like to welcome you to this broadcast, a program designed to help you, the believer, confront the culture and find biblical answers to life's questions. Joining me are my outstanding co-hosts, Pastor Brian Weatherspoon of Tabernacle Harvest Church, all the way in Pottstown, <laughs> Pennsylvania. They are a long way <laughs> out for 22. <laughs> so, Pastor, <laughs> greet our people today. Uh, thank you so much, Bishop. Uh, God bless you, Christian and Culture family. And uh, listen, let's get into it. We have a very exciting topic. Move the coffee table out of the way. It is necessary. Let's have fun. God bless Amen. you. Amen. Now, you better move that table because he's going to tell you to do it. So I'm you better you obey. It. Obedience right. is better than sacrifice. <laughs> and, of course, our resident theologian, Pastor Tim Baldwin of Bethel Northeast. Pastor, how are you today? Bishop, I'm doing well. Christian and the Culture family, uh, glad you came uh, to tune in. And uh, let's, let's jump in. Let's do it. Today we're going to address something that we are sure all of you are struggling with in some capacity, and that is the problem of anxiety. More and more Christians are turning to drugs, Prozac, Lexapril, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Equinil. They're turning to lithium because they want to get through the anxiety that our culture has created. And so you're trying to find a way out of all of this frustration. Well, we believe we believe that the Word of God has the answers for everything in your life. Amen. And today, our focus will be on the letter written to the church at Philippi, where Paul says, Be anxious for nothing, yes. but in everything, by prayer, supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And I love this part. He says, And the peace yes. of God that passes all understanding shall keep your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. So wherever you are right now, just sit down and listen for the next minutes and hear what the Word of God has to say. It's designed to lift you out of anxiety and bring you to peace. All right, let's get into it. The Apostle Paul encourages, encourages people to avoid anxiety. Mm -hmm. How do we, as children of God, rid ourselves of cultural anxiety and fear that is so present in our time? Yeah, you know, it, the irony of Paul writing this is that Paul's in prison yes. while, he, while he's writing this saying, don't have anxiety, right? And so, so I'm like, it, like right. uh, amazing that he's writing that while he's in prison. Uh, right. But, but our, uh, the way that we overcome is, I think our perspective, we have to have the right perspective. We go over to, to Matthew uh, 6. 633, uh, seek ye first the kingdom of God, all his righteousness, and all of these mm -hmm. things will be added. Mm -hmm. What things though? So you gotta go back up, and, and he's talking about worrying. Mm -hmm. And so he says, don't worry about what you're gonna eat, what you're gonna, what you're gonna wear, where you're gonna live. He's, and, and, then he, and he talks about the lilies of the field and the mm -hmm. birds in the air, they don't toil, and, and, and the Lord takes care of them. And so when we get down to verse 33, and it says, seek, seek the Lord for everything, mm -hmm. and everything will be added, what will be added? The basic necessities of life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Uh, food, shelter, clothing. Yeah. And I think in our economy, we get so caught up with stuff, yeah. right? Having all of these things that if I recognize that, that God is saying, you don't have to worry, especially for, for provision, yeah. uh, your perspective has to be in the right, in the right place, yeah. right? Yeah. What, what, what is it that, that the Lord desires yeah. to provide for us? Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Pastor Brian, have we created the anxiety by promising <laughs> blessings that God doesn't want to ah, give yeah, as yeah, preachers? <laughs> yeah. Name it, claim it, blab it, grab it, ah, whatsoever things you desire. Because yeah. Pastor Tim hit on it. Yeah. He says, you know, all this, this stuff that we are reaching out for, yeah. it violates the teaching of Jesus in Matthew 6. Have we created this? Oh, we, we've most certainly created that. Uh, and, and, you know, the, the issue with this culture now is at least they challenge it. We didn't challenge it a whole lot before, so they're, they're more willing to do the more practical things to overcome anxiety. Who are they're, you talking about? The Gen Zers and, and 
the younger generation, they're more willing to get involved in community. They're more willing to not isolate themselves and kind of get involved in things. They, they will do that. I think our generation and before, we kind of went with the name it, claim it, you know, lab it, grab it. I remember being in college and I went to a famous preacher service and he told me that day that I can go and lay my hands on whatever I want and just claimed it. And so I took him literally and I went to a car lot in college, a BMW <laughs> car lot. <laughs> <laughs> and literally, I laid my hands on the car and said, I can have this car because Jesus said I can have it. And I went back on the campus. This is in Daytona Beach, Florida. I went back on the campus and I told everybody, oh, God's going to give it to me in 30 days because the preacher told me I can have that car. Wow. And he didn't tell me I needed credit. He didn't yeah. tell me <laughs> you may need a little bit of money for a down, down deposit. You know, n none of those things were the issue. So absolutely, we've created a world where not that you can't obtain certain things by faith, right? Uh, but we've created a world where it almost feels like God has become, as you would say it all the time, Bishop, the genie in the bottle. Just, you know, rub him nice and he'll give you what you want. And I'm so glad, I'll end on this note, that God is more into developing character than he is giving you what you want. So he'll take years to develop your character before he ever gives you the thing you think you want. Now you guys have been doing a good job not saying things to frustrate me <laughs> and, and, and uh, 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 make me challenge. Yes. But you said there are things that we can get by faith. Yes. Yes. Now, based on this scripture, yes. is it your experience, both of you, mm -hmm. that people using that term now, I don't like that term, yeah. but I, I mean, that's another <laughs> show. Jason Bryan said that. Yeah. I just, I just but, want to put that But people yes, yes. using that term, yes. when it doesn't materialize, does it create anxiety? Right. Yes. Yes, it does. So, yes, you, it does. But you'd have to hear me unpackage that. No, so you got two minutes to unpack. So, so when we're talking about obtaining things by faith, we're not talking about the material world. We always default to materialism. Yes. But there are things that you do get, like joy and sorrow, yes. like peace that passes all understanding. All of those, are, uh, they come by the avenue of faith. Absolutely. Okay. They do not come. We're not Love talking about materialism. Right. But they do come by the avenue of faith. Yeah. Okay, so yes. when we use that term, you know, use your faith. Yeah. Why is it always connected to the accumulation of, of material stuff. things? Because it's, it's just a misappropriation of the scriptures. Yeah. It, it, it just, I think that's it in a nutshell. It's, it's a misappropriation of the scripture, bad, bad hermeneutics, bad mm -hmm. exits, all of those things. Yeah. And, and it comes out of the desire for us to, to put, put, put God in a bottle, a genie in a bottle, and to get what we want, even the scripture mm -hmm. that says you can have whatever you say, yes. right? But it's not saying you can have whatever you say, yes. you know? So, so, so it's, it's, <laughs> Pastor Brian is, no, is about good. to you're burst good, over Pastor here. Yeah. You're good. You're Go ahead, good. Pastor you know, Brian. I have these outbursts every now and then. <laughs> right yeah, I'm full right now. We're, we're greedy Cretans. Yeah. We're, we're yeah, you know, yeah. it's what, it's what they said in Jude, you know, the Cretans were just, they're just slow bellies. They were, they just <laughs> consumed everything. We're Western Cretans. But this we isn't an overnight. This isn't an overnight uh, thing. It's not. Right. This has right. been going on for years, slowly. Yes. Like a termite, yes. slowly eating away yeah. our theology, yeah. eating away yeah. our relationship. Yeah, and now we have a generation of believers that are full of anxiety. Yeah. yeah. COVID created anxiety. It did. The the invasion of the Soviet Russia into Ukraine, yeah. anxiety. Yeah. anxiety. The, the fear yes. uh, that's going around now with the increased violence, yes. anxiety. Yes. Yes. Where did all this come from overnight? Yeah. Bishop, you know what? It's not overnight like you said, right. but here's what I realized in my own life. There were times in my early years of being a believer and when things would happen in the world, I would get, I would get anxious. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because I was like uncertain. Yes. But as I grew and developed yeah. and recognized that I, like my life is hidden in Christ. Yeah. If, yeah, yeah. if I die, I'm going to be with the Lord. Yeah. When, they, when that, that smoke came from Canada, <laughs> whatever yeah. it yeah. was, yeah. and people like having anxiety, <laughs> I was away, yeah. I was down south, and when I came back, as soon as I came back, it, it was just crazy. Yeah. And here's what I said to my wife, we get off the plane, and I said, Jesus, just come get us, Lord. Yes. Yes. Just, yes. Because, yes. because again, quick, we have yeah. anxiety about the unknown. That's it. What we don't have control yes. over. Yeah. When we can't control a thing, that's what causes the anxiety and the unrest. But if I recognize that there are some things in my life, you guys gotta hear this, that, that I cannot control, if I can't control it, 
you'll never be able to control it. So why have, can, why have anxiety over it? The, here's a reality uh, for all of us, me included. Uh, our eyes are not fixed. Yeah. Mm, that's good, Pastor Brian. We gaze every now and then, but they're just not fixed, right? Yeah. We easily remove our vision from Christ to whatever's going on in the world. And the, the, wow. the one system in the world, this is what probably where more believers need to be in it, but because we are not, we feel more satanic onslaught yeah. is the system of media. Yeah. You know, media has a lot to do with what's invading the minds of mm -hmm. believers. Let's mm -hmm. face it, we watch TV, yeah. we watch news, we watch reports. So we're fixed on those things. Yet Jesus said, you know, fix your eyes on me, right? Trust in me and it will remove some of the anxiety because you'll get to a place like you said, Pastor Tim, of growing in trust. But when your eyes are fixed on CNN, ABC, news reports here, they run those repeatedly. It's looped information of negative, downtrodden information. And yet the scripture says we live by words. Words will either make you or words can also break you. You, you have to but establish your health. If you, if you look at Paul's words. prescription in dealing with what you said, I agree. Yes. Uh, uh, the news media, and we'll just use them as an example. Sure. The news media, they do their job. Yeah. Yeah. And we should do our job. Yeah. So they say, oh, it's going to be a real bad storm. A tornado's coming. It's going to blow you away. It's going to destroy everything. Tie down everything because yeah. it's coming. All right. It never comes. Yeah. But then six weeks later, you get another one. Same anxiety. Yeah. Here's Paul's prescription. He says, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, yeah. tell God about it. Now, yeah. for the sake of our listeners and for myself, yeah. when Paul says, tell God about it, yes. what am I telling him? I don't want to go through it. I don't want the tornado to hit my house. What am I, what am I to pray? Yeah. Something creates anxiety. Sure. Paul says pray about it, but how do I pray? Sure. I'm, I'm praying for peace. Mm -hmm. I'm praying for peace because truth be told, if, if we're all in a situation where there's mm -hmm. a tornado, I'm praying, Lord, don't allow this tornado to hit our home okay, and, to, exactly. and, to, and to, to protect my family, my okay. wife and my daughter. Okay. And so yet those things, we are praying those things, but, but ultimately we're praying, Lord, whatever you decide to happen, Give me peace. Yeah. To, but to, we're not praying that. We're well, praying what we're, you said at first. We should be praying that, right? We should be. We, we don't should be. want the tornado yeah. to come. And we I'm don't. not saying that's wrong. Right. But dealing with the sovereign God who says, yeah. I'm going to let that happen. Right. What do we do? Paul says, then once we pray, then he says, the peace of God keeps your mind. Sure. Does that suggest that God may not give you that request? Yes, and that his peace should be a present anyway. A hundred percent. Pastor Brian was talking about the media, and then you, mm -hmm. talk, then you talked about the media, how it inundates our mind yeah. and our hearts. And the key there, so he says, it can, like the peace of God will keep your heart in mind. Why then is, doesn't it say the peace of God will keep us? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It says it'll keep your mind in yeah. your heart, yeah. your seat of emotion, yeah. right? Yeah. And, yeah. and then the intellectual place. Yeah. Yeah. How do I think about things? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm playing in my mind, okay, this, this tornado is coming. Yeah. It's going to blow my roof off. It's going gonna, it's, 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 it's gonna to take me or, or my yeah. children away. It's going it's to do all of these things. Yeah. But he said it's, it's the peace that keeps your mind yeah. and your heart. And, and it allows those things to be settled. Yeah. Right. And it keeps my mind and my heart on the things of the Lord. And that's what brings us peace. That's what yeah. allows us to walk in peace. As I said earlier, mm. there are some things that we will not ever be able to control. And we have to be at peace with that. Paul, the apostle is on the ship and the angel tells him. <laughs> it's going down. Now, this ain't it's CNN. CNN. Right, right. This is not CNN. You're right no, about that. that this, this is, is not a newscaster. <laughs> this is an angel of the Lord. <laughs> Yo, Paul. <laughs> the ship's getting ready to wreck. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, but tell them. Here's but he the puts piece. a caveat in there. He does yeah. put a caveat. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. To any part of this. That's right. And you're going to make it to the <laughs> other <laughs> side. It's going to be just <laughs> not we're going in the water. Imagine <laughs> that. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> You know, the, you, you, you're speaking truth. I, um, just as a moment of transparency, eight years ago, um, I had this, this biopsy. And uh, I was praying. And I just, mm. I said, in the name of Jesus, it was going to come back negative. Yes. yes. Well, the day the doctor called me, he says, I want you to come in. We're going to go over your results. Mm -hmm. And I says, okay, you know, 
And I prayed that yeah. it was going to be good. Yeah. And the Holy Spirit said, put on your civic wear and mm. wear your gold chain. Mm. The bishop, he wanted me yeah. in my bishop's clothes. <laughs> so I put on the bishop clothes and I go down to the doctor's office and they bring me in. He sits me down and he says, it was positive for what they were looking for. Mm. The peace of God came over me like I never experienced. Wow. 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 I go home. Wow. I'm sitting there. He says, I'm reading computers, right? Thinking I'm getting information, yeah. but I'm building my anxiety. Wow. I'm fueling yes. my anxiety, yes, trying sir. to find out all yes, about this thing. Yes, Holy Spirit speaks again. He says, if I can get you to close that computer, I'll heal you. Yes. And boom. That's real. But Bishop Howe, and I'm going to real. become the interviewer now, yeah. <laughs> how, how did you get to the first place where you felt the peace of God? What was it mm. that allowed you to experience that peace? That, just, that was just his grace. Mm. Because when I prayed, I said, Lord, please let this be negative. Yeah. And it came back positive. And I thought, oh, gosh. But he had already told me mm. right. to wear those clothes. And I don't know why. He just, because yeah, yeah. I remember my doctor saying to me, I didn't know you were a minister. I said, well, just tell me what I need to know. Right, right. And so he goes through that. And I had such peace going home, driving yes. up Broad Street. Yeah. It was, I got this. But when I got home, I pulled out my laptop yes. and I'm looking at every looking website at yeah, thinking, right. okay, this yeah. is what I'm going to have to do. This is what I'm going to have mm -hmm. to do. Trying to find this, mm -hmm. that, and the other. And he right. says, if I can get you to close yes, that sir. computer, wow. I'll yes. heal you. Yes. Wow. And then yes. the peace of God just flooded me mm -hmm. throughout the whole process. Yes. He healed it. And it's that mind and heart yes. thing. Yes, he mm -hmm. healed it. Very true. And I, I mean, you know, it's, it's amazing mm -hmm. how there is absolutely no reference yeah. to it. Yeah. Wow. And, and so when Paul says, don't be anxious. Yes, sir. I think that that anxiety comes when we fill our minds with, as absolutely. you said, absolutely. those secular things instead of going to the word of God. Instead of going to the word of God. That, that text when it says the peace of God will keep your heart and mind, that word keep is garrison. It's, yes, it's, it is. It's, it's, it's that military it term. That's right. It's almost like, like, like by force, yes. the peace of God will keep it you. Will yes. Keep you. Yeah, if you, he if, knows if you're pray, prone to worry. Yeah. 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 He that, brings I mean, you good. back yeah. over here. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. You know, that's why in my home, ever since uh, our daughter was small, I had a rule. Don't you get upset till I get upset. Mm. Mm. And I make sure I don't get yeah. upset in front of them. Yeah, yeah. that's right. That's because right. that's how God is. God yeah. is saying, don't you get upset till I get upset. Yes. And yet we can't master that because yes. we keep having other gods speak to other us. Other gods is talking. Oh, Paul, Paul, Paul that's writes powerful. another text and he says, he says, let peace, uh, he says, let peace, uh, um, it, it basically says, let peace make the decision. Yes. It says, let, let peace rule, rule your heart. Rule your heart. Yes. And that word rule is umpire. Yes. Yes. So, so we know umpire right. makes the, the calls yes. and makes the, yes. so he's saying, allow peace to make the call in your yeah. life. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah, allow peace to make yeah. the decision yeah. in terms of what it will be yeah. in your life, man. I that's agree. so, I'm telling you, that's I so agree. good. That man. comes from, it for me, that comes from an acceptance of the sovereignty of God. Absolutely. Yeah. If I believe he loves me, yes. then whatever he lets come in there, and he's intrinsically good, yeah. whatever he allows to come in there, it's gotta be for my good. Yeah. yeah. It's gotta be. It can't be more than I can bear. No. Yeah. He said, I'll be with you in it. Even Job said, yeah. Job said, I can't see him. <laughs> to turn to the right, left, back, forth. He said, but I know he knows but where I, know. I am. Yes. yes, yes, he yes. does. And peace comes with relationship. It yes, comes it, it comes with knowing. Yes. Yeah. Like, like yes. Disney comes in, he runs in, hops up in the chair, sits in the chair right next to, between me and the arm of the chair, puts yes. his head on my leg and just lays there. Yes. And he's like, you're now okay, I'm okay, yep. I'm with you. Right, yep. right, 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 yep. yeah. That's, so it goes it back goes. to what you gentlemen were saying, mm -hmm. connecting with God, yes. avoiding that media influence, becoming part of a community and a culture yeah. so I don't have to try to fight alone. And stay yeah. off of WebMD. Stay off of WebMD. That's easier to say yeah. to yeah. because you, you, you really want to know what's going to happen. Right. Right. I, was right. like, yeah. I was like trying to find out what the diagnosis sure. was and, right. you know, how long, you know, what, what yeah, was going yeah. on with it. Yeah. And the Lord just said, if I can get you to close that computer, I can heal you. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. And that was his competition, yeah, yeah. knowledge. Now, I know we, this piece wasn't on faith, but we just qualified yeah. why faith comes by hearing. Yes. Right? You, what you hear yes. has everything to do 
with how you respond yes. when things happen. Yeah. And, and, we're, and I've learned this and I've taught it, wherever your heart and mind ponder, your feet follow. So whatever this is thinking, your feet are ultimately going to go to there's it. But there's an interesting challenge, and yeah. I was preaching it over a series <laughs> of weeks. The Bible says faith comes by hearing, and faith is what's necessary to please God. True. But when Jesus talked to the man with the epileptic son, yeah. he didn't say faith. Right. He said, if you can believe. You can believe. That's so true. clinically, they're two different things. It's true. So as you say, I yeah. hear something, I yeah. have faith, yeah, yeah. but do I believe it? I think the hearing builds your belief system. Mm. So just as the more I hear that negative report, yes. I'll start believing I'll it. I'll believe it, yeah. Yes. Tell me that yeah. storm's going to be yeah. happening a long time yeah. ago. I may not even be a supermarket person. Right. But I'm, my feet are ultimately going to go to I the market. Plans. And I get plans. And yeah. I start doing yeah. it. Yeah. Because yeah. I've heard it, now I believe it's going to happen. Yeah. That, that's so true. It, yeah. yeah. It's true yeah, yeah. because it's like when you, when you prepare to go get your, your yearly physical. Right. <laughs> right. You're thinking, okay, I'm... Uh, like, like I'm, I'm praying that everything's going to be well. Right. Everything's Jesus, well. Yeah. And the moment you get mm. the report back and it says you're good. Yes. All your numbers are good. Yes. And you just have this. It's a relief. Yes. It's a relief. Yes, yeah. it is. What yeah. would happen if we had that before we went? Yeah. In? Yeah. 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 And we can. And we can. Yeah. We can. Yeah. We go to God, you know, and the Bible tells us you, you cast your care upon yeah. him. Yes. And yes. I've learned to just say, Father, I'm scared. Yeah. 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 That's you just know, real. That's real stuff. I, I, you yeah. know, I'm dealing with this. And those things that are within my realm of control, you yeah. know, in my shed, I must have 100 pounds of ice remover yeah. and didn't need it in, at all last <laughs> right, winter. Right. So I said, oh, <laughs> praise the Lord, I don't have to buy any right, this one. Right. But why did I do it? Because I believed yeah, it was going to snow. That's exactly yeah. right. I believed. So I, 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 get, right. I had the snowblower service. That's right. We're ready, you That's know, right. for whatever comes. Uh, and and I think, as you say, yes. the more I the more I yes, apply sir. my faith, eventually yes. I'll come to believe. Yes, sir. Paul is saying here, if I believe God is with me, I yes. should have peace. I should have peace. Yep. Now, yeah. do I force myself to have peace? Do I I make myself have peace? I just say, you know what? I'm not going to get upset. You, I don't think you can force it. I, I think it it just has to be there. Like yeah. the, I think peace is a peaceable thing. Okay. Where you, if you're forcing yourself, you're really trying to trick yourself yes. into believing yes. you have well, peace. Well, can, can I phrase it this way? Maybe I'm not forcing myself. But I do need to remove the obstacles that are causing me to think. That and you need to, you need to re right. be reminded. I, and, reminded. Yeah, I think you remind yourself. Yeah. Absolutely. I can encourage myself. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. I can yeah. encourage yeah. myself. Yeah. Say, hey, yeah. God's got this. Yeah. Absolutely. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. It, it, it yeah. looks bad now, yes. but yes. God's got this. Absolutely. Yes. And I think, yes. you know, I, I think it's yeah. an important concept for you to master right there in your life. Lots of things are going on. Please. Don't get caught up in all of the political upheavals that's mm -hmm. going on. Let me tell you what Daniel says. Daniel says God will put in power who he wants in power. That's right. And our job is to pray for whoever God puts in authority. We should vote, yes, but we just pray for whatever the results are. We make our voice heard. We write letters. We make our voices heard. But you rest in the knowledge that the Lord is in control. So whatever you're going through today, whatever is hitting your life today, we are in agreement that the Lord is on your side. Yes. If you're a born again Christian, he's on your side yes, by obligation yes. because you're his child. If you haven't yet come to the Lord, then he's on your side by grace, mercy, and love, yes. hoping you will turn to the Christ of Calvary. We want you to know that you can overcome whatever obstacles yes. the evil one throws in your life. We want you to know this. We want you to master this. Remind yourself that I can walk in peace and whatever God allows to come into my life, he will give you the grace and the ability to withstand whatever comes your way. Yes. He promises that. Mm. So if you're in the furnace of affliction, he's there with you. He'll bring you out. Yes. If you're in the lion's den, he'll shut the lion's mouth. Yes. But you can rest assured that the peace of God yes. that passes understanding will garrison your heart and mind and bring you to victory. Thanks for joining us today. We love you and we pray that you will forever walk in the peace of God as you face this ungodly culture. Remember who you are, the light of the world and the salt of the earth. God bless you and we'll see you on another broadcast. The Christian and the Culture is produced and recorded in the studios of Lighthouse TV, positively different.
God knows more than what he has revealed to you. You're dealing with an infinite God, and he doesn't have to tell you everything. Doctrine are the words that Jesus left. One of the main things we're called to do as the body of Christ, how we're going to win and overcome, is by keeping the doctrine. Now, the little horn is what we would call the Antichrist. Satan has always had somebody prepared to come to that position in every generation. People of God are raving about the Understanding End Time Events and Prophecy Conference. Ryan says, this conference broke down the scriptures into pieces that I could easily understand. Kyle offers, this conference helped bring a greater sense of urgency for me to share with the world the hope that lies within us as sons and daughters of God. And Doug adds, I would recommend any believer serious about their Bible to take a look at what this conference has to offer. This four session conference of teaching and dialogue will help you to better comprehend what the scriptures say about the last days. For your love offering of $30 or more, receive a copy of the entire seminar on CD or DVD. Call 1-800-550-3284 to order your copy today. The Bethel Deliverance app is now available to download for free at Apple Store and Google Play. You can tune into Sunday services through live stream, view video sermons on demand, listen to audio messages through podcasts, send prayer requests, communicate through social media, and you can contribute to the ministry simply by using today's technology. Get access to all of Bethel's media outlets and church events right at your fingertips. Go to the Apple Store or Google Play and download Bethel Deliverance to get connected today. Praise the Lord. I'm Bishop Eric Lambert. I want to welcome you to the Eric Lambert Ministries website. On this website, you will be able to get information about books, CDs, DVDs, and even the printed word designed to help you in your walk with Christ. You'll find information about our YouTube channel and the services that we have at Bethel Deliverance International Church. And we want you to understand that our ministry is designed to lift up Jesus, to glorify his name, and to get you, the listener, connected to the power of the Holy Ghost. I am excited about the Eric Lambert Ministries website, and I want you to join us as often as you can, and we guarantee two things. You'll have a closer walk with Jesus. Number two, your life will be richer. God bless you. Access resources that will enrich your Christian walk today by visiting ericlambertministries.org. That's ericlambertministries.org. The Christian and the Culture is a production of Bethel Deliverance International Church. Thank you for watching. Be blessed.